All right, my name's Preston Miles. I play uh, right field. Jesse Reed and I pitch at Temple. And I'm Craig McMurtry, and I'm the coach at Temple. Well, hey, that was a uh, crazy game, exciting game. Um, a lot of stuff went on as far as uh, just comebacks and get behind for both teams and able to make some adjustments and do some stuff. But uh, from our side, I thought Jesse did a great job on the mound. Uh, had the one inning where obviously you get the ball uh, up in the air here. There's a real good chance it's going to go out on days like today. And uh, he kept the ball down, had those guys uh, uh, off balance with his uh, split and his slider and locating his fastball down. Um, I thought he did an outstanding job. Um, obviously, we had a little trouble with the bullpen there for the, the one part of the inning. Uh, Jacob Little comes in and uh, uh, threw really well. Uh, fastball had a lot of life to it. Uh, the breaking ball was really good. Got us out of a big jam there that really changed the complexion of the game with the bases loaded to get the strike out to end that inning to keep the score where it was at. And then some big hits, uh, opportunities to score. Uh, you know, Popman with, tri with the two triples today. Uh, Joey getting the double, Preston hitting the home run. Uh, and then Seth being down to basically the last strike of the game and finding a way to shorten it up against a guy that was throwing pretty hard. I think he was 90-93 on the board out there. Uh, finding a way just to keep that thing in play and find a hole. And unfortunately for them, uh, the ball came up on the on Kirkland out there in uh, left field. But uh, fortunately for us, a uh, chance to win a ball game and get a chance to face somebody tomorrow. So uh, the guys are super excited, uh, rightfully so. And we're just happy to be here. Um, it was honestly one of the best games I ever played. Um, yeah, just everything that's happening, and I just didn't want that last at bat to be my last one as a leopard, and that's kind of what got to me. In any of you guys, you think that game was kind of a microcosm of what you guys have been through in, in the last month or so? I mean, you, were, you were, had to be almost perfect in the last two, three weeks of the season just to make the postseason, much less get here. Uh, what do you think, Jesse? Yeah, for sure. I mean, Pretty much sums up Temple season right there. Yeah, we had we had our we had our backs to the wall for uh, really for most of the conference season, uh, losing those first uh, seven out of eight games and having to battle back and winning our last eight in conference just to make the regional and uh, getting an opportunity to come here and not want it. Nobody wants it to end. Uh, you know, the only team that's going to be happy is the one that wins the whole thing. But you don't want it to end and uh, really to get new life. Uh, like you said, is just kind of how the season has gone for us uh, here the last probably month and a half to two months. How important was that last two innings from Jacob Little to help you stay in the game? Well, it was pretty important. <laughs> um, yeah, he came in and did a really nice job. Uh, Jacob was our closer last year and uh, did a good job for us. Started some this year, has been out of the pen some, but. He really stepped up today in that situation to keep the game where it was at and not let it get completely out of hand, even though you're down three uh, or down two there in the ninth. And uh, uh, he could have he let things escalate for them and, and put us in a big hole. But uh, yeah, he did an outstanding job. Coach, uh, you had two starters that uh, don't exactly throw 90 plus mile an hour, but like he, yet they did a masterful job um, you know, keeping hitters off balance, um, keeping them guessing. Well, they pitch. And that's the name of the game. Uh, you can throw really hard, and if you can locate and change speeds, then you've got a chance to be really, really good. If you're in the mid to upper 80s uh, and you can throw your fastball where you want to throw it, uh, you can throw the split like uh, Jesse did today and slider and change up and locate. Uh, that's just called pitching. And that's really what we try to do at, at Temple. I mean, we're not, we usually don't have a lot of guys that throw extremely hard, even though Jacob was throwing pretty good today, but uh, starters are generally going to be guys that can move the ball around and keep guys off balance and find a way to hopefully keep it on the ground and in the park for the most part and uh, uh, give us a chance.
tell me, when you hit that, did you think that had any chance to go out, or did you notice what the flags were doing at that time when you came up? Uh, I did not think it was going out at all. And uh, I just thought I was going to, I thought it was going to be a wall banger, honestly. And so I took it hard out of the box, and luckily it scraped out. Jesse, by the same token, they hit some. I mean, they hit him well, but still the wind, the wind helped. I mean, what were you, after dominating the first five innings, what were you thinking as that inning was unfolding? Um, well, they, the pitches they did hit weren't good pitches, so I was still kind of mad at myself. But um, I just had to refocus after that inning and um, keep making pitches like I knew how to. What was your breaking ball that was working so well in the first you know, five um, A slider. slider. Yes, sir. Preston, tell me your reaction to seeing Seth come through with, with that hit mm. after you know your, your last at bat. Mm. I mean, guess it like you said, it's kind of it's, you know, fight and fight yes, sir. all the way through the win for him. And yeah, it was definitely a momentum changer. Uh, he always comes big up like that, and I definitely had faith in him on doing it. You used both of your starters today, you know, that were, that were left. Do you, do you have any plans for tomorrow? You got to kind of sleep on it, or who do you think gets that call tomorrow? Yeah, we'll, uh, we'll look at that uh, as the evening goes on and uh, in the morning. But, uh, you know, Ryan, Ryan only threw a handful of pitches, and uh, if, he, if he's able to pitch, he'd, he'd be in the mix. And if not, then, you know, we've got some guys out of the pen that we'll, uh, we'll look at and just kind of see who we're matched up against. and. Who we, uh, who we feel can do the best job, but there'll be three or four guys we'll look at, and Ryan will be one of them. Last thing I wanted to ask you for any of you guys, uh, with the circumstances that you've got to Grand Junction with, mm -hmm. how big is winning a game, beating a top three team, just to you know, kind of validate that you belong here and it wasn't just going to you know, over two and see you? Uh, yeah, it was definitely uh, something to prove to everybody that we're not just here on uh, what happened. It's uh, showing people that we actually belong here. Yeah, kind of like what Preston said, um, we lost a tough game in our opener, and just to come out and just win a, win a close ball game like this really helps prove ourselves. The big thing here is you can, be, you can be a really good team and go home after two games because there's a lot of really good teams here, and you can, you know, it's not something where, oh, well, you know, if you lose two games, that's terrible. It's just baseball. That's all it is. You know, you... You come and you play. Good teams, good teams uh, are, are gone after two games, and sometimes it's just a matter of circumstances and getting a break or whatever. And uh, so, for us, I feel uh, it's, it's just an opportunity to keep playing and see if we can, uh, you know, piece together another win or two and, and see what happens. But uh, we were very fortunate to be here, fortunate to win that game, and hopefully we'll be able to be fortunate again. Thanks, guys.